Next we're going to learn Foggy Mountain Breakdown. Um, this is an important song to learn because there's a right hand pattern in it that gets used a lot. It goes like this. And that little roll, that rhythm pattern right there works for hundreds of things or more maybe, I don't know, many, many things. Um, here's how this pattern works. Uh, just like the tag, it can have a space in it. We'll learn it first without the space. The basic, the basic pattern goes like this. Index middle, thumb middle. And then fifth string. And it runs right into itself. It would be possible to play all four of the first, no, the, the four first notes with just the two fingers. But you want to bring that thumb down there. Notice that it repeats right onto itself. You could play both the first and the second second string with the thumb if you wanted, but not on the second time because it comes out of that forward roll and your thumb has just hit a note. You don't want to hit two notes in a row that are that are quick notes, our, our fastest notes. Um, 16th notes or 8th notes, depending on how you're writing your music and, and, um, uh, um, and such. You don't want to hit the two fast notes in a row with the same finger. So you're never going to want to do that, except in very specific circumstances. So you have to start the second roll with the index. That's one of the things about the banjo style that we're, we're doing here is, is all these rolls are designed to not repeat a finger and not repeat a string. Um, there is a special uh, technique of playing on single strings, which um, we may get into a little later. <clears throat> so this is our basic pattern. And we can play that pattern with a space. thumb after the space and don't just play the two fingers so that was done both ways <clears throat> in this tune there's a hammer on with that that's the basic lick right there You got the double hammer on. Again, try and notice your fingers changing, your left hand fingers changing uh, pressure from one finger to the next. If you just lock the one finger down, it'll get you in trouble. I'm not going to bother playing the simple melody to this song because this is a banjo tune and uh, basically the whole song is the melody. Here's the whole song. the slow version. Um, you'll notice that uh, with that initial line, third time through the pattern, still the same roll, but the index has changed to the third string instead of the second string with the index, it changes to the third string. <clears throat> it's still a Fog Mountain roll. I call it a Fog Mountain roll. You can play the whole thing with the third string. It 
it's a very versatile roll and you can use it for a lot of different things.